right, what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. And today, as you can see in front of you, it is the whole Endgame 2 wave. I think it's uh, the the fourth like Avengers wave, but in terms of the Endgame like, title, it's the second wave. Uh, I got this super, super early. I, don't, I think he doesn't come out till like late June, early July. So I got this early, not going to disclose from where uh you know who you are shout out to you but i'm going to unbox each of them do a quick review uh i thought about doing a video like one whole video showcasing all, the, all of it but i did like a little poll on my instagram and people wanted to see each figure one by one so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do each video one by one uh probably upload this on a thursday or friday it's currently wednesday right now so i'm not sure exactly when yet and then it'll go every day from there I believe until I get through all of it and then I'm gonna show you the Hulk build a figure at the end so as you can see it, we have rescue Union Jack Shuri War Machine Rock Python the comic version Loki and Beta Ray Bill so without further ado let's go ahead and crack one of them open and see what he is all about and first up, we are going to take a look at Rock Python. So this wave consists of three MCU characters, two Endgame characters, but three MCU and four comic characters. So I'm going to do uh, in variation. So comic, MCU, comic, MCU, comic, MCU. And the builder figure is the Professor Hulk or the Smart Hulk. And he is an MCU character, so he's going to be last. So... Taking a look at Rock Python from the box, it is, um, oh no, that's just power, or I thought it was like all scratched up. So he comes with the left arm for the Build-A-Figure and that is it. <laughs> so here's a look at the side packaging. Here is the back. So as you can see, uh, War Machine does not come with a Build-A-Figure feet piece so i think he is going to be double box so there is the little insert and it tells you a little bit about the character same uh same photo on the other side and the front packaging so let's go and take this guy out all right so like i said the only thing that he comes with is the left arm for the hulk uh build a figure piece so i'm gonna put that off to the side and take a look at that in his own separate video now if you guys have been following me on instagram or if you guys know me at all uh, i say that i haven't been collecting i actually got out of legends almost like a year ago in support uh in seeking more higher end figures so uh please bear with me this is the first set of marvel legends i've gotten in a long long time so i'm going to make mistakes and referencing certain things uh one thing i want to point out real quick i am not necessarily a fan of the new packaging i know it started, I think, with the Captain Marvel or one of the ways how the the plastic is not on the cardboard anymore. And it is on here with like a little blister thing. It's cool. I understand like for protection, I guess. But um, I just, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of it. So taking a quick look at Rock Python. And I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know much about him. I just do know he's part of the Serpent Society and he... Uh, if you guys do have the King Cobra figure, he is going to go well with that. So taking a look real quick, here is his head. Now the eyes are pretty good. Let me go and zoom in real quick. Um, the paint it might on camera might look a little bit messy, but in person it's not all that bad. Either that or I just have really bad eyes. Um, the chest, the paint application on his chest for his... Uh, Python is really good except for right here in the middle. I don't know how well the camera is going to catch it But there is some paint uh, missing like right here and in the middle and then the color on his Arms the forearms and the double joints it is bleeding through so as you can see the blue on the inside right there And then it comes a little bit right over there um, the Blue itself is really nice. It's like a nice light baby blue. Um, for this one, I don't know 100% sure if it's supposed to be like this, but if you can see the shoulders on the Rock Python and the biceps are a two different are two different shades of purple. 
So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but that's how mine came and it doesn't look bad. It's just, you know, something to note. Uh, he has a silver painted belt, which is decent all the way around. And then from his lower half, aside from the boots, he has the same uh, baby blue colors for his helmet, his rock python, his gloves, and his thighs. So, and then his boots come uh, the same purple. So bas basic, basic um, color scheme aside from his skin. It is pretty much blue, purple, white, and then little shades of gray. Um, QC on this is definitely a little hit or miss. Like right there, as you can see, like the the application of the plastic mold right there. And then some is peeking out of the knees. So that's just one thing to note. Uh, when I was looking through these figures, the, I think, Rescue or the War Machine. I forgot one of the two. Um... They were, they were really good. The application itself is really nice. So let me go ahead and back this up real quick. There you go. So the application on those were nice. So I think it's just a hit or miss depending on the figure. And it is, you know, standard Marvel Legends. There are some that's going to be nicer, some that's going to be worse. So let's run through articulation real quick. All right, so for articulation, he has the standard Marvel Legends neck. It can go look down that far, go up. 360 and then he has a little bit of a tilt right there um it is on the standard uh ball peg for marvel legends so i think that's really cool it's one of probably the better um ball hinges for the neck his shoulders go up that much not quite 90 but not bad at all he has bicep swivel and then the double jointed elbows and then a swivel and a hinge for the wrist. So I think this is like standard Marvel Legends articulation. He has an ab crunch that goes down that far, goes back, not much. Mine is a little bit loose, as you can see right there. He has 360 waist swivel, splits that go probably to about right there. A thigh cut for both. Double jointed knees, which are really nice. I like the double jointed knees. Um, a boot cut right here. And then probably one of the best ankles on a action figure period. So it goes up that much. Not necessarily this particular model. I'm just saying Marvel Legends in general, they have some of the best anchor articulation because look how far that thing rocks. And look how far that rocks on the inside as well. So yeah, that's going to be it for articulation. It's just a standard buck. So nothing too special there. And that's going to pretty much take care of that. Um, right now he's holding a accessory piece that I got from the McFarlane Game of Thrones Night King. Um, unfortunately, he does not come with any accessories. So that's why he's just holding that right now. He has two holding uh, gripping hands, but nothing to grip with. So overall thoughts on this figure. It's a decent, it's a decent figure. I like the paint application. I definitely like the helmet piece. Um, you can cut, use that for a lot of customization. I like the colors. They pop a lot. They remind me of the Charlotte Hornets basketball team, if you guys are familiar with that. But as you guys all know, there's going to be at least one or two figures in each wave that peg warm. And this one will probably be the most, um, the most common one. So, uh, if you guys want to pick this up for the build a figure piece, then by all means do it, you know, because you guys need this to complete it or if you guys can get the build a figure piece loose. But other than that, in terms of the figure itself, it's just okay. It's nothing too crazy. So yeah, that's going to be it for my review. This is going to be a real quick uh, review because I want to knock, try to knock these out one by one. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. I'm not much of a reviewer, guys. I'm just here to showcase and give you guys a closer detailed look on this brand new wave. So that's going to be it for the review. If you guys liked the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you guys are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for the rest of the figures of this wave. Peace.